Welcome back to our channel, Veteran Game. Today, we're diving into the wrestling ring to tackle AEW, Fight Forever, a title that dares to challenge the WWE 2K franchise's monopoly on professional wrestling games. Fight Forever boldly leans into arcadey designs of yesteryear, adopting a pick-up-and-play approach that deserves praise, despite its flaws. The game doesn't quite deliver a knockout punch, marred by a lack of genre-standard features, a lackluster single-player campaign, and a host of mechanical bugs. It's a fighter that's not quite ready for the main event, but it's commendable for entering the ring. Visually, Fight Forever pulls no punches, with its cartoony character models and lively animations. The 52 competitor roster is filled with well-rendered caricatures. Kenny Omega and John Moxley's are among my personal favorites. Even when characters like Chris Jericho seem off-kilter, the game's embrace of a less-than-realistic style brings an appealing flavor to the ring. However, the game stumbles when it comes to mirroring AEW's real-life roster. Due to complicated licensing agreements, some prominent characters and championships are noticeably absent, an omission that's almost unforgivable considering their significance in the real-world wrestling scene. Fight Forever shines when the action begins. There's an exaggerated dynamism to every punch, kick, and bump, ramping up the over-the-top nature of wrestling in the same way comic books amplify superhero violence. This game brings unique elements into play. For instance, Malachi Black can spray black mist into opponent's eyes, temporarily scrambling your controls if you're on the receiving end. However, outside the ring, the game falls flat. The menus are clean but bland, the music, despite being performed by AEW wrestlers, is forgettable, and the few voiceovers are inconsistent. The game's lack of compelling creative tools also disappoints, the creator wrestler and arena modes feel bare bones, and the limited cosmetic options make character customization more of a chore than a joy. In terms of gameplay, Fight Forever's in-ring action offers a frantic energy thanks to quick movements and smooth animations. The combat mechanics, while easy to grasp, are unpolished and lack the responsiveness of other wrestling games. The game also struggles with unresponsive controls and dim-witted AI, problems that are even more noticeable when playing online. One unique feature is Fight Forever's momentum system, which rewards varied offense and solid defense by letting you use your finishing moves once the momentum meter is full. This adds a strategic layer to the gameplay, making you focus on exploiting each wrestler's unique set of skills to quickly gain momentum. However, the game's health, limb damage, and recovery systems are frustratingly opaque, adding unnecessary mystery to the gameplay. Another peculiar decision is the inclusion of two separate defense buttons, a throwback to the Nintendo 64 era design. This change adds another layer of mastery in one-on-one -on -one encounters, but makes defense almost impossible in multi-person bouts. Of the limited match types offered, the Anything Goes, Hardcore Style Lights Out match stands out, offering a hilarious arsenal of weapons, from rideable skateboards to literal explosives. This ridiculousness brings a fun spirit that has been missing from WWE games for a while now. Fight Forever's signature single-player mode, Road to Elite, is a throwback to the old-school season modes of WWE games. Despite its brevity and replayability, the mode is let down by its lackluster stories and unclear branching paths. Additionally, the mode's light management sim elements feel underdeveloped, especially for non-created characters. In conclusion, AEW, Fight Forever feels like a game of unrealized potential. Its lively animations, quick action pace, and effective character design lay a strong foundation. However, its good ideas are often overshadowed by bugs and poorly implemented systems. Although it's no wrestling game revolution, there's still fun to be had for those willing to roll with the punches. It's a start that we can bet double or nothing on in a sequel down the road. That's all for today, veteran gamers. Until next time, keep playing.